Hello and welcome to the third edition of Discover Downtown. I'm Janine Posell Shepherd, and we're going to go downtown today on the Sprinter and take a look at the theaters, restaurants, stores, businesses, and all kinds of activities that are available downtown. So come with us on the Sprinter. The Sprinter is a light rail and it's a beautiful large car with very comfortable seats and big windows. So it's just a lot of fun to be on as a passenger and also we have special areas for bicycles. There are tie downs for bicycles so you can bring your bike on board. There are luggage racks. Uh, you can bring surfboards if they're under six feet or boogie boards. So really any kind of equipment, a skateboard, as long as you keep it with you and don't try and use it on board the Sprinter, you can have it with you so that when you get off at whichever end or if you're downtown Oceanside, you can get out and enjoy the beach and have all the fun activities, ride your bike around. So it's a really wonderful way to get from point A to point B and then get out and enjoy everything Oceanside has to offer. Outside Sprinter stations such as this one here on El Camino Real has parking. We have free parking for our transit passengers. We have our ticket vending machines so they can purchase their tickets here or we have a tap and ride and they can use their compass cards to validate so that they can get on the Sprinter. And we've got Sprinters going both eastbound and westbound. Taking the Sprinter downtown is a smooth trip, but before we start our day discovering, I need to nip in here for an urgent job. I have a challenge for you. Okay. I have a monkey that needs to be cleaned. See, he's got ketchup or something spilled on him by the, the kids this weekend. Okay. Yeah, we can that I had to ask about Dorothy. History of the building was, I can't remember the exact year, but Rourke Buick dealership used to be in here. And then for most of my youth, Greyhound bus station was next door. The restaurant for the Greyhound bus station was here. And then Dorothy's had the building next door and the two next to that. And then Greyhound moved out of the transit center and we expanded this way so we could have the parking lot. Laundry, dry cleaning, uh, a lot of alterations. We offer uh, Marine Corps metal mounting, ribbon mounting. Military is 90% of my business, and that's actually come down a little bit. It used to be 98% of my business. So the area is growing somewhat and out, and we're getting more families in the area, so I'm getting a little bit more civilian trade coming in. Ball gowns we do, we offer tailoring and cleaning. All the time, I've got a tailor here from 9 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night, five days a week, and then Saturday and Sunday, we're open until 8 o'clock at night, and I have somebody here then, too. Turn around, well, that's what we pride ourselves on, is we can get it done in a hurry. And if you get it in here early enough, I can get it back for you the same day. Shop Next Door sells a lot of gear and um, t-shirts and what have you. That belongs to my brother. And if these guys run out of something or what have you, or their you know, family comes in and they sell a few um, t-shirts and what have you for them. They have this crazy old machine that still makes dog tags on the spot. Time for iced tea and banana bread at a wonderful new old cafe. It was built in 1929. Uh, I know that the original owner, Bessie, had purchased it sometime in the 30s. We serve anything from Eggs Benedict to Cobb salad, pretty much just breakfast and lunch. A chicken fried steak and corned beef hash are super popular. Shrimp tortas, fish tortas. That sort of thing. We rent out the restaurant. It's a uh, buffet style. Usually in the night, people can rent it out for up to 30 to 50 people. People come in and they wonder just by being in here, they love the decor and they love the way everything is arranged, so they want to know if they can have their own setup. Actually, in this next couple weeks, we have somebody that, a couple that's doing a wedding rehearsal here. We've done baby showers. We have a lot of people that actually Bessie, her grandkids come in here every so often and they're always blown away by the place because they haven't seen it in years and a lot of people haven't stepped foot in here or even knew that this place existed. They've lived in Oceanside their entire lives. All the photos are pretty much just historical images of Oceanside in the 30s. I know that they have the Pacifica Hotel up in the back. They also did the uh, Harbor Days. There's a couple pictures of the Harbor Days and actually the old sign of Bessie's Cafe right there. So it seems to me to be the kind of 
the talk of the town for right now, and hopefully for a long time, just considering the food is really good and everyone seems to be really impressed with everything. Employees that work here really care about making sure that you have a great experience. We always make sure that people get complimentary banana bread when they come in, which a lot of places don't uh, provide that sort of service. I think a lot of people feel like when they walk through the door, they step back in time. Now we're going into Little Louie's gift shop, where they claim on their website to have the largest selection of shot glasses of any gift shop in Oceanside. Let's go take a look. It's a wonderful shop because I think it's everyone's destination coming to Oceanside. If you're on vacation, everybody wants to buy something to take home with them. So you're going to find it here. And people love to take something home that has either San Diego, California or Oceanside written on whatever they're going to purchase. And so there's so many things to look at. It takes you quite a time to go through everything and it's a very enjoyable experience. When people are coming here, we get a lot of people coming on the Sprinter as well as coming along on the coaster. And so when they arrive, they uh, suddenly realize, oh my goodness, I need flip-flops, I need, need to get a towel, I need suntan lotion, and I need a bag, or I need something to sit on a chair. And so this is a great place to come because you're gonna find it here. Many people come, they don't have their trunks, or they come so uh, with a you know sweatshirt on and they're looking for something a little bit cooler. So we sometimes have to deck the whole family out so they can have a day at the beach. We have a lot of wonderful baby clothes with sayings on. We have onesies with lifeguard. We also have little boys shirts with here comes trouble. Little girls items with a mermaid on. So just about everything that makes people laugh. We have a huge selection of shot glasses and uh, people love to just come and stand and read all the funny sayings and uh, very interesting bright and colorful uh, shot glasses with pirates on, you name it, we've got it. I had to ask about that pirate. He's a wonderful draw to the store and we do know a lot of people will say, well, let's meet at the pirate and that's little Louie's. went for a mooch down Artist Alley and found that seaside flowers had just moved from their old gazebo on Oceanside Boulevard and Coast Highway to Artist Alley. Not a lot of people know about Artist Alley and we're hoping to bring it back to life. It's a really nice little location. There's, um, we're right in between Mission and Pierview Way, across from the library, which has a lot of nice events going on. And we have a beautiful room and um, we're able to carry more things than we used to as far as plants and basket gardens and we still do all the things we've always done. Not everybody was aware that we do funerals, weddings, deliveries, you know, large arrangements, high styles, parties, but uh, we still want to cater to the customers that have always been there for us and that's been our locals. And the locals are ones that give us great joy because they like to come in and pick out their own arrangements and. They're very creative, and uh, sometimes they know their lady's favorite, and um, watching them do that has always been one of the great joys I have, because you know that a lot of times it's done with love. One of my favorite stories is a gentleman who came to order corsage for his daughter for father-daughter dance. He looked at me and he said, my first experience ever buying flowers was when I was in high school and had to buy my girlfriend her high school prom corsage and that's her mother so you have been there through the time that I bought my first flower for the corsage through her wedding and the anniversaries and the baby and now my daughter so those are the times that I think we realize how much we are part of people's lives I think that downtown Oceanside is evolving in many many ways and I'm glad to be a part of it and I hope Alley, Artist Alley becomes one of the hubs of it. Flowers last forever in the memory of your heart. Had to go into a favorite building and find out what treatments are on offer. 
We have been in business for two years now here in Oceanside in this beautiful 1886 built historic building and we have services that would include facials and massage, acupuncture, so it's all about wellness. Apotheke is the key to wellness, the key to health, the key to happiness. So we want everybody to come in. We want them to be able to experience this amazing building in downtown Oceanside. And 1886 is a long time ago, so this building has been many things. And right now, it's a lifestyle spa, open for the public. We have an outside cafe, a beautiful succulent garden. We have parties, sparties, as we call them. So you can bring your friends and your family, and you can have nails done, you can have your hair done, you can have your makeup done, you can have your acupuncture, you can have your herbalist. We have an herbalist, so she will give you an herbal concoction that is for your health and your wellness. We have spas and resorts that we do products for. They come here, we are able to do trainings, we have yoga classes, we have fitness strength classes, we also have classes on aromatherapy, we have classes on the herbs, we have classes on menopausal issues, we have classes on anti-aging ingredients. Theodore Bunker built this wonderful building in 1886, next door to his Oceanside Meat Market. It became a boarding house for railroad workers, later the Rogers Music Company leasing jukeboxes, then the Travelers Hotel, city offices, and now Apotheke Lifestyle Spa. So we really do want to invite everybody to come in and see this amazing structure. The Succulent Cafe is next door. Best strawberry smoothies and such creative plant arrangements. Peter Loyola, who designed the plant walls at Stone Brewery in Petite Madeleine, has an even bigger canvas here with unique containers filled to the brim with succulents. A wonderful place to stir your imagination. The art scene continues to expand downtown. Next up is the Brooks Theater. Oceanside Theater Company is a brand new theater. We're in our second season. We are a community theater, but we are changing the stigma of what community theater is. Our goal is to create professional quality theater under a community theater blanket. So we're raising the bar. We're doing a little bit edgier things, like for example, our very first holiday show was Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol. A different look, a different take on your standard Christmas show. It was a little darker, a little edgier. It had puppetry, it had shadows, all kinds of theatrical tricks. We at the Oceanside Theater Company also run the Brooks Theater here in all the rental agreements. So we are open for rentals. We seat almost 200 people. We have renters that are from dance companies, high schools, local high schools, uh, other production companies that come in and use this stage. We also have a music series for local musicians. Theater changes people's lives. It does through either doing it or even as an audience member seeing it. We get to relate to other people, uh, other demographics, people that we are not necessarily familiar with. Sometimes we get to play characters that are not like ourselves and we learn a lot. I think theater is a great learning tool. I wanted to create a program that could piggyback off the school district and offer theater for kids of all ages. My vision was to slowly create excitement in theater for kids who weren't athletic, kids that had nothing else to do. We have a program for four, five, and six-year-olds called Out of the Box. Instead of them, you know, watching a video or having a story read to them, they become the characters. They learn to express it in movement. They learn to trust their instincts and feel good about playing imagination and not feeling like I'm not supposed to be this crazy. And then we have an acting one class, which is ages seven through 12. And that teaches them, uh, we're continuing with the movement, voice and diction, improvisation, and then we add to it uh, monologue work so they learn how to memorize. And then acting one always ends with a musical number two. That's our, our showcases 
at the end of eight weeks, we have parents and friends come and watch what they've been doing, and we always end with a musical number, which is a combination of all the classes. And so they learn a little bit of everything. I see a difference within just the production. You know, these kids come in very shy. They don't want to audition for specific roles. And by the end of, of the rehearsal process, right before opening night, they are just having so much fun and doing what comes naturally, and that's using your imagination. Barbecue and cold beer works for me. Let's check that out. That Boy Good was actually a, a kind of a dream I've had in my entire life of opening my own restaurant. The theme was never really set in stone as far as doing just barbecue. What we had in mind was to really come down and uh, share what, what I like to call uh, my family secrets, my family recipes. Uh, a lot of my family's from the South, Mississippi especially, and uh, some of the best food in America comes out of that area, and we really wanted to, uh, to share and express that, uh, that love and passion for food with uh, this great town of Oceanside. When Kim and I met in Vail and we got married, we decided to come out to California and open our own place. And uh, the barbecue theme just seemed to fit. We came down to Oceanside, did a little scouting on the area. We really love the area. We love being uh, just close to the ocean. The people here are great. It's a really up and coming little beachside town. We've got some great restaurants opening around us. So it was just a good, it was a good time, good place to be. I started cooking when I was about 13 years old. It was my first uh, first real job. I had to lie about my age to kind of sneak in the back door of the kitchen to, to get to get employment. But I've always been a big kid, so it was you know I got away with it. My mom was one of the best cooks I've ever been around. I've learned so much from her, being raised by her, and uh, you know having her as a support unit my whole life. I've been doing this 27 years and uh, through a lot of uh, high name resorts and high end uh, casinos and whatnot. I was trained by a lot of great classical, classically trained uh, French chefs throughout my career, and uh, I do what we call the traditional palm frit. It's not something that you really find down south, but it's a, a French fry that's been cooked twice. We cut them, we hand cut them, we blanch them in water overnight. It pulls a lot of the starch out of the French fry. And if we cook them the first time at 275 degree oil and we cool them down then when we get the order for someone comes and orders them we put them back in the 350 degree oil and uh, you just get this great crispy crunchy phenomenal french fry nothing like you'll get any place else besides my wife I have three favorite things beer barbecue and football not necessarily in that order but uh, you'll find all three of those great things here and my wife at this restaurant <laughs> That Boy Good offers off-site catering. We're doing weddings now, we're doing beach parties, we do catering for the Marine Corps base, and we have large party platters. So if you're having a football party at your house or birthday party or whatever, we have large party platters that you can order. My secret for great barbecue is love. Love and passion for what I do. I think if you go into any business, whether they're giving you a manicure or serving you great barbecue, if the person behind the counter, or the person in the back, or even the person in the front greeting you, if they actually uh, really passionately love what they do, you're going to feel it. You're going you're to taste it. You're going to hear it. You're going to feel it. And when you leave, you're going to know that you've been someplace special. You, you'll definitely want to come back. Best chicken and waffles ever. This is New Orleans Saints country. Wear a Saints jersey and get a deal. They're selling their ceiling to raise funds for Crown Heights Resource Center. Today, there was a crossroads pop-up art show organized by the Hill Street Country Club. So the Hill Street Country Club, we are a nonprofit based in Oceanside. Our goal is to bring art exhibits beyond the gallery walls and also to provide art workshops that are affordable to the local community. We're known for our pop-up art shows where we go into local business, we partner like Fat Boy Good, and we bring in art and exhibits to the audience instead of waiting for them to come into the gallery in the museum space. We have a variety of artists that we feature and we feel that artists who live in Oceanside deserve to have the opportunity to exhibit their pieces. Normally it's very difficult to figure that out if you live here, but if you live in LA or New York, it's surrounding you. And so it's our job to make sure that you're surrounded by art and that that artist has the opportunity to exhibit their art. Let's pop up ourselves at Main Street, who are behind a lot of the great changes downtown. Main Street Oceanside is an independent nonprofit organization. There, it's a downtown business association uh, for our downtown district. So, Main Street Oceanside programs uh, include downtown courtesy crew, kiosk directory, connection newsletter, 
the farmer's market on Thursday mornings from 9 to 1, the sunset market from 5 to 9, the Independence Day Parade on the weekend before 4th of July, Main Street monthly meetings that we hold, we have quarterly mixers. There's also an economic restructuring committee that meets to discuss ways of strengthening downtown's economic base while diversifying it. Details are on their website. Gidget learned how to surf from Moondoggy in the Kahuna, but in Oceanside, you can learn how to surf from firemen. It's basically Surf and Fire Surf School. We originated back in uh, 1999. I was looking for a place to put my daughters in a good, safe surfing environment. And I didn't really trust anybody other than myself watching my own kids. And I've lifeguarded for years on the beach back in my 20s, um, Dana Point, and then being a CPR and first aid instructor for the department in Encinitas Fire Department. You know, I thought, who uh, better to do it but than myself? So we've got what's called, uh, we've got three levels basically, three age brackets. We've got adults, 18 and above. We've got the uh, teens that are 13 to 17, and then we've got the groms that we offer lessons to from uh, 6 to 12 years of age. And so we've got camps that'll run Monday through Friday, and then we've got three-day drop-ins, two-day drop-ins, or daily clinics and also provide private lessons for groups, corporate parties, and all that stuff. They can book a lesson with us, or they can just walk up, as a lot of people do, as they see us here, and they just walk up the strand and uh, get an appointment with us, or set a time, or we can get them out in the water right away. Our instructors are all excellent surfers, some lifeguards, and firemen, so we're gonna introduce them not only to how to handle the surfboard, and um, all the conditions, but then we're gonna get them up there popping up on waves and riding. Today we got a group from Spain, kids from Italy, Belgium right now, so we got quite a few. And then just the East Coast and uh, a lot of Arizonians and Texans are all coming to get out of the heat and surf with us down here. Today we're going to put you guys in wetsuits again, okay? Everyone stay pretty warm? Yeah. No sunburns, huh? You guys all sunscreened up? Yeah. Right, okay, so we'll put you in wetsuits, we'll get you guys the surfboards. <clears throat> we're going to surf on the south side today. We're gonna line the boards up and gonna work you guys through some pop-ups. We're gonna work about turtling and then talk a little bit more about turning today, okay? okay. The waves are muy pequeño, so it'll be fun for you guys to get out there, sit on the boards and have some fun that way. Beautiful break, uh, sand bottom, you know, it rolls in. You can get really long rides and work on your balance. And then for the more immediate advance, we can get them outside surfing and starting to cut down the waves and uh, get open face waves. We get a lot of people that haven't done it in years, they did it in their 20s or something, and they come back around in their 40s and 50s and want to surf for their kids. So we just go through all the basics again, run them through the fundamentals, check how they're popping up and the positioning on the board, and then they're getting it right out there and we're pushing them into waves. So we're out there with the, the students all the time, pushing them in the waves, getting them a maximum amount of waves. And that's what sets us apart and gets uh, the guests and the clients really good rides. So much to do now down at the pier. So much fun on offer. Wolf on Rental uh, was established in the like mid-1980s and uh, they're based out of Ventura, California. And uh, of course, you know, we have a site here in Oceanside and uh, we are located at 300 North Strand and uh, here in Oceanside right underneath the pier. We rent bicycles, we rent different types of bicycle, four-wheel bicycle, two-wheel bicycle, three-wheel bicycles, so single surrey, double surrey, choppers, quad sports. During the summertime, we do get a lot of the, uh, the visitors, the tourists, people coming from several different states and you know places that come out here and, and visit Oceanside and majority of them uh, that's what, who we get and of course also we get the locals out here too they're from Oceanside. You know we're a first come first serve basis but uh, what we do sometimes uh, we do have customers that do call in says you know what we'll be there in 20 minutes and uh, we would like to have some bikes you know available for us and we make that happen. What we do is uh, when they come out here you know it just depends on what they would like we would ask them for a photo ID or driver's license. We hold on to that until they get back with the equipment and then whatever that they're renting let's say for example it's a double Surrey then once we do all the paperwork the waivers then we go out there and we show them how it works. 
and basically give them a safety instructions, you know, on how to drive it, you know, how to brake it, how to reverse the equipment, you know, the bike, uh, because with a typical Surrey, you just don't reverse it using your pedals because it's freewheel. So really what you have to do is put your feet on the ground and push it just like the old uh, Flintstones. <laughs> We have a quad sport over here, and uh, we also have a single Surrey and a double Surrey. Okay, and the double Surrey being that you can fit six adults and two children. Here in the Strand, if you're on a single Surrey or a double Surrey, uh, they would be able to go from the north side to the south side. And with the Strand, it's approximately not quite three miles round trip. But that's where they would be able to go with a single Surrey, double Surreys, and all, all other specialty bikes with the two scoops, the quad sports, and the choppers. Uh, with the exception of our cruiser bikes and the kids' bikes and the tandems, those they can pretty much take anywhere. They can go outside our venue here to the you know downtown Oceanside or the Carlsbad or even down to the harbor. Another fab restaurant, Veneto's, with very authentic Italian dishes and a little live opera thrown in. We picked up the name because we have sort of uh, southern, and we, are, we have a different mixture of foods from Italy. We got southern dishes like uh, sausage rustica, sausage with bell pepper, you know, sauteed and uh, with pasta. Then we have other dishes like osobuku, which is a veal shank. You have to cook it for like 12 hours. The meat comes right off the bone, melts in your mouth, and you can't find it in too many places. You know, it has to be authentic, you know, Italian place to get it. And uh, we have those, we have veal parmesan, and your regular pastas, we do have it. Uh, you don't find too many uh, simple dishes like carbonara. Carbonara, you know, they make it with eggs and uh, just olive oil and pasta, and it's pretty good. We have different salads. The prices are good, and we try to make it homey. Most of the people, they've been coming here, they come back all the time. I have customers from Arizona, they come back, and people from the neighborhood that they come back. We do have a good selection of wines, people like that. We have wine tasting. It's more of a social thing than anything else. People get to meet each other, and they meet eat here and they have a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. Family oriented, so you can bring your kids here. As far as catering goes, we do cater to the base and we do deliver to the base our regular menu. So we do have drivers and we deliver to them. We start delivering at five o'clock and we deliver till 10. And we deliver in town, of course. On Friday and Saturday night, we have live music by Tony Saracci. And once in a while we have guests that they like to participate. One of them is here today, William, and uh, he's an opera singer. And uh, they just uh, like to participate, so they get up and they start singing. to have you come into Venetos as a stranger and leave as a friend. One last stop to pick up the monkey. <laughs> oh, he looks so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. <laughs> okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Downtown Oceanside is magic. Just show up and everything for a special day is there for you. Thanks for watching.